Lesson 7, Transformers. The transformer is the device for changing the potential difference or voltage in a circuit. As we can see from the lesson, it consists of a primary coil and a secondary coil connected together via a iron core. The primary side is essentially an electromagnet. The secondary side works by electromagnetic induction or the generator effect. We need to have an alternating current for this. As you shall see in a moment, if we look at the diagram, on the primary side we have an alternating voltage. This is an iron core, a coil of wire, so essentially that is an electromagnet. So, when the alternating current switches on, it induces a magnetic field. If the current was going in this direction, the magnetic field induced would be going in this direction. When the alternating current changes direction, as it alternates, it goes back in this direction, the magnetic field will now change direction and go in this direction. So what we have in the iron core is a magnetic field which is constantly alternating. The secondary operates on the generator effect. We saw from lesson six, if a magnet is passed through a coil of wire, it induces a potential difference. If the magnet is stationary inside the coil of wire, no potential difference is produced. So for this reason, we must have the alternating magnetic field through that coil of wire to induce a potential difference on the output. The reason the potential difference on the output on the secondary is different than the potential difference on the primary is because of the number of coils of wire. If there are more coils of wire on the secondary you get a higher voltage output if there are less coils of wire on the secondary you get a lower voltage output according to the equation shown here that's it thank you